you're on the internet as much as I am, you've probably noticed two things. Number one, a lot of shows from your favorite streaming platforms have been disappearing or are being canceled. And number two, you may have noticed that a lot of streaming platforms seem to be merging, like Disney Plus, Hulu, and ESPN Plus are being bundled together, and Warner Bros. is combining HBO Max and Disney Plus. These seem like unrelated things, but they have the same root cause, and that can be summed up in three words, which are also the answer to this video title. Streaming isn't profitable. To prove this, let's take a look at the major streaming platform Disney+, Plus, which has lost some $1.5 billion despite being one of the fastest growing platforms. Warner Bros. recently merged with Discovery Channel and has posted a net loss of $2.3 billion, and Amazon Prime? doesn't disclose its numbers. That's a little suspicious, because if they were doing super well, you'd think they'd be bragging about how much money they were making off of Prime Video. After all, if streaming media is the future, then Amazon would want to be seen by investors as at the cutting edge of technology and doing so successfully. But given the hush-hush nature of Prime Video's profits, it's easy to assume it's turning a loss, especially when they're going to spend an estimated 20 billion dollars in 2023 on content, and that's more than Netflix has made in several years. Speaking of Netflix, not only are they the most profitable streaming platform, but in their third quarter letter to shareholders, they state, quote, our competitors are investing heavily to drive subscribers and engagement, but building a large, successful streaming business is hard. We estimate they are all losing money with combined 2022 operating losses well over $10 billion versus Netflix's $5 to $6 billion annual operating profit. Now, Take this statement with a grain of salt, since Netflix has a lot of motivation to make its competitors look bad. But even Netflix, with its success, is still losing net subscribers, and that's because there's simply too much competition. When Netflix started, it had an advantage in timing and usage rights because there were no other streaming platforms at its scale, and as such, Netflix was able to buy up the rights to all sorts of videos and TV shows and movies from a ton of different studios, making Netflix the central place that you would go if you wanted to watch movies. But then other gigantic corporations started seeing the amount of money Netflix was making. It was in the billions, and suddenly all of them wanted a piece of this delicious streaming profitable pie that we call market share. And as individual companies began pulling back the rights that they had originally given to Netflix and putting them on their own streaming platforms, the market began to get very saturated as competition skyrocketed and consumers were forced to choose which streaming platforms they wanted to join and which movies and TV shows they wanted to be able to watch. There are enough consumers in the North American market to support several streaming platforms, but not enough to support as many platforms as there are at the prices these platforms were charging. And because of that market saturation, companies began raising prices in order to have any hope of being profitable. Because streaming is expensive. Streaming companies have to pay for things like server space, employees, media rights for the different films that they plan to distribute, and marketing. But that's not even mentioning the cost of the original productions that they seem to have to constantly put out in order to maintain their subscriber base. Having that amount of upfront cost for something that's as often as cheap as $10 a month is just not a sustainable model, especially since there are no ads running on it like there are on YouTube or Facebook. It's purely subscription-based. And if everybody wants to keep streaming, but it's not a sustainable business model, then streaming has to become a loss leader for huge companies to get consumers in the door. They need to be willing to take a hit on streaming platforms and leverage them as advertisements for the other aspects of their business that are profitable. Imagine Disney losing money on Disney+, Plus, but gaining more fans so people go to see their movie premieres in theaters and take more trips to Disney World because of it. Or Amazon using Prime Video as a way to get people to shop on Amazon.com to get that free shipping. Companies may just have to use the ability to stream their shows as a way to get people in the door and then find other ways to make a profit because they're not going to find those profits with video streaming. So here's your complete answer to the original question. Streaming platforms are merging either by being bought or they're being made subsidiaries of already huge profitable corporations like Amazon because there's not enough money in streaming for them to be able to exist on their own, except for Netflix. And bless you, Netflix, you little guy, you're doing great.